Catching up with the Mayor of our fine region, Mr Matthew Dickerson. Morning, Zico. Had you a hold up over the weekend with the Bunnies in town? Wasn't wasn't the result we were looking for, I think, unless you're a, you're a rated supporter. No, I don't know. The Bunnies would be keen to come back to Dubbo from the playing perspective. They, <laughs> yeah. they love the whole concept, but just the two years they've had out here, the Panthers last year gave them a bit of a touch-up, and this year... They were thinking and they were expected to beat the Raiders fairly easily, but it didn't quite go to script. But apart from that, everything else went according to script. 11,124 people there, huge crowd, very well behaved crowd. The atmosphere around there is fantastic. From Council's point of view, are we going to be looking at trying to continue that relationship? Yeah, South Sydney are very keen to continue that, and we are as well. But there's that little caveat next to that. In the last two years, the state government has given us $150,000 and we've had to contribute 200000 because the standard rate for an NRL team to come to a regional area is about $350,000. So you've got to come up with that yeah. money from somewhere. So as long as the state government continues to put in a large chunk of change like that one fifty, then I think council can see that that will work. And we needed over 10000 about 10500 was our break-even point. So we got past that. So we might have even made a few dollars out of that. The big question will be if the state government doesn't put in the money and then council's got to cough up the 350, then you start to say to the community, well, is this the most important thing you want us to spend our money on or is potholes more important or keeping the pool open longer? What is the most important thing to spend our money on? There's no doubt about it. The injection into the economy is fantastic. The pubs and clubs and Mm. motels, everyone had a full weekend in that regard. But again, we've still got to balance our bottom line and use the ratepayers' money in the best possible way. Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a tricky balancing act by the look of it. Yeah, or well, hopefully it won't be that tricky. Hopefully the state government kicks in the money. Uh, Dougal, you're listening. And then once we've got that in the equation, then it makes it a much easier equation. Again, I have no problem at all investing $200,000 and getting back more than $200,000 from the community perspective and bringing 11,124 people into a game. So that's an easy equation. It's a bit tougher if it's not quite that simple. I tell you what else uh, brings people to the region, our amazing tourist attractions. Now, we've got that one great big pass, I believe. It's past the zoo, Royal Flying Doctor Service. What else? At Wellington Caves? Yeah, Wellington Caves and the Old Dubbo Jail. So it's called the Great Big Adventure Pass. And it's a great initiative started by our staff. The idea was come up with by a couple of our staff there in terms of let's get together and let's get different organisations. So you've got the Western Plains Zoo, Taronga Western Plains Zoo, being a state government authority. The Royal Flying Doctor Visit Experience is a separate entity altogether. And then council. So having those three organisations together, one pass, and the data shows that people love the idea of bundling things together and making it easy. So they buy one pass, they get into all those exhibits. So that's fantastic. And that's been working quite well. Tomorrow I'm in Sydney pitching that concept to a bunch of Sydney media to say, get off your backsides, come out to regional areas and actually have a look at what we've got. And really what we want them to do is pitch the idea to their readers, to their listeners, to their viewers. Obviously, these are mainly sort of travel magazines, travel blogs, that type of thing. So we want them to come out here, experience the the great big adventure pass, and then talk to all of their viewers, listeners, etc., about how great that is and hopefully bring more of those people out here. Keep in mind the other thing that is important is that the Old Jar, which is a council facility, if you're from... DRC area. So anywhere in Dubbo Regional Council area, you turn up to there with your driver's license or any ID and show them that you're from this area, you get free entry. And it's worthwhile at the moment because it's always worthwhile, but at the moment in particular, there's a new exhibit that's just gone in and it's just won an award, a national award. So that's fantastic. And again, for people that have been there in the past, they might remember there was an old hologram, there was Nosy Bob who told a bit of his story. That's all gone now. A whole new exhibit's gone in there. So it's worthwhile going along and having a look at that. And again, free of charge. You can't get better value for money than that. Mayor Matthew Dickerson of the region, thank you so much for your time this morning and I'll see you this weekend at the show. I hope you've got some Dagwood dogs ready. Absolutely right and I'll see you on the uh, the drop. What's that big drop called? The mega drop, I think. That's probably my favourite one there. The <laughs> mega drop. i it safe on the Ferris wheel. Ah, good on you. <laughs>